known for its business and beauty. Adobe's adding more color to its growth story through acquisitions and AI. How can I help you? But could this stock paint profits far into the future? Few companies understand the digital future better than Adobe Systems, the leading maker of digital media and marketing software. In recent years, Adobe's been steadily transforming itself into much more of a cloud computing play. And a few months ago, the company moved into the red-hot field of artificial intelligence with Sensei, their AI platform that uses machine learning to help computers match images and understand both the meaning and sentiment of documents, especially documents used in marketing, although I have to admit Adobe's known machine learning and AI before a lot of other companies. Meanwhile, Adobe's doubled down on the advertising space. In December, they closed on the acquisition of to Mogul, which helps companies plan and buy video ads across desktops, mobile, streaming devices, and television. Put it all together, Adobe's not just defining the future, they're embracing it, they're owning it. No wonder the stock's given us a 34% gain since I highlighted its metamorphosis roughly 16 months ago, including the terrific 15% rally year to date that my charitable trust, which you can follow along at actionalertsplus.com, has been along the ride for. I think Adobe's got much more room to run, which is why I was so thrilled to be able to sit down and check in with Shantanu Narayan. He's the terrific chairman and CEO of Adobe Systems earlier this week. Take a look. Shantanu, you just came off still one more amazing quarter. And um, I'm always stunned when I see you out here because the growth is what I expect of a company that maybe is trying to go from 500 million to a billion. How are you able to continue to put these numbers up? Well, I think, Jim, uh, first, it's always great to be back on your show. Uh, when we think about two massive tailwinds that the company has, it's design and digital transformation. And uh, everybody has a story to tell. So the creative business has gone through this amazing renaissance where anybody who uh, wishes to express themselves, we have the best tools to do that. And every company is using design or experience as a way to differentiate themselves. And so you're right, we think we're in rarefied atmosphere in terms of a company that's growing both top line and bottom line the way we are. Yeah, but you know, talking about it, I, I typically would not stop and just pop, have my eyes pop out and say, wait a second, I gotta be sure, I gotta ask about this. The f free cash flow growth is great, 50%? I mean, I, you're, you're an established company. This is not a startup. Well, we went through the transformation, as you know, which was, you know, as we moved to the creative cloud and the recurring revenue that we have right, right. now, it was 5% recurring revenue a few years ago. It's 80% recurring revenue right now. And, you know, uh, I think all of those uh, yield a very, very solid balance sheet, and our investors have been pleased. Uh, we, we talk about uh, all these companies who use it. I know uh, we've been speaking to John Leisure, T-Mobile, is he uh, uh, emblematic of what you can use, of, of, of you can translate the creativity that you give people? I think design has never been more important in terms of giving people the personalized experience. Okay, so when, personalized, you, well, well, when you think about telecommunications and what's happening and what John's trying to do at the Uncarrier right. uh, company, they want that experience of how you engage with them on mobile, uh, as well as in a physical store, to be completely differentiated and personalized. You can actually send a message, I think, to your own personal uh, support person. And so the underlying infrastructure to enable them to do that on the web and mobile applications, that's where Adobe is helping them. And how do they harness all the data that we're collecting on their behalf so that they can deliver a better experience. But it's not just telecommunications, travel and hospitality, so that when you enter the hotel that you're staying in or the airport, um, they all know exactly uh, who you are, what your preferences are. That's the kind of thing we're doing, whether it's Marriott or Starwood or Qantas, now, some great everyone. customers. You have everyone. Now, because you have everyone, the panoply, I mean, we're talking about a huge percentage of retail that uses you. Yep. Uh, you also have fantastic data. Uh, how about the data for Valentine's Day? Well, I think to your point, uh, we uh, process over 90 trillion transactions. And it's amazing to me that 90, it, that's a T, people, 90 trillion transactions. A year. And to your point, when we used to have government statistics, right. they actually didn't include actual empirical data right. of what was happening online. In fact, consumer price indices and the other indices right. didn't include what's happening online. And so what I will say for Valentine's Day is if you bought early, 
you save 15 percent over those who uh, bought late right. because prices went up. And mobile is clearly where all the action is. Well, let's talk about mobile and uh and Tube, Tube Mobile, which is just looks like I have, not, I have not seen you since that acquisition. I know that it wasn't necessarily additive when you announced it, but what does it bring? Well, you know, we have certain hypotheses that we uh, try and focus the company on. And one that's probably obvious to most people is that video is going to be immense. Right. And it's all going to be on smart TCP IP networks as opposed to uh, just the traditional broadcast. Mm -hmm. And so when people are delivering this video, if we can help them with video advertising in a personalized way, that's the holy grail. Right. Uh, somebody who's watching your show, how do you understand the demographics of who they are and deliver them the right ad at the right time? Well, do you think one day the Facebooks will monetize, the Googles will monetize this? You know, be, be just, just from what you are, from your experience, can it be monetized? I think it can absolutely be monetized because there is more content that's out there right. uh, than there has ever been before. Uh, and this revival of content, when coupled with uh, the appropriate advertising, that's going to be the business model that evolves right. on the web. Right. We just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but we will with your help. I love this quote. This is from your most recent uh, conference call. While others are jumping on the machine learning and AI bandwagon, these capabilities have been the foundation of our innovation for decades. All we hear about is suddenly AI from these companies, but y you've owned it. Well, when we last met, we uh, talked about how, you know, people were talking about it while Adobe was quietly doing it. Yes. We did announce Adobe Sensei, which right. is our framework. Mm -hmm. There is nobody who understands images or videos or documents or what's happening with behavioral data and online no. the way Adobe does. And enabling our uh, rocket scientists uh, to make that power available for our customers right. is something that's super critical. And if we can, people have always said, how did they do that when they see an image or when they see a video? Now we're making it easier and easier to use. One last question. Uh, because of all this data that you have, uh, can you tell me whether you share my view that things have gotten better, business in this country and worldwide? I think the sentiment when I talk to most CEOs is that the business climate is better, Jim. Okay. And I think we do see that. And, you know, I think in our particular space, because digital disruption is front right. and center, I think we're in the tailwind. But in general, I think the sentiment is positive. All right, let's leave it at that, because you're a positive person, but I also know you're an empirical person, so I trust you. That's Shantanu Narayan. He is the president and CEO of Adobe. And I've got to tell you, Adobe is, even at 117, I think you can go much higher. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.